Also tonight, a state Supreme Court judge handed local restaurant owners a much needed serving of hope today, putting pressure now on the state to get an action plan in place that will allow restaurants in Erie County to reopen. The Rebound Buffalo, our commitment to making sure people in power are doing what's right. And Olivia Proya tonight walks us through a possible timeline. Each day, it's another tally. Another day, Brandon Carr says he's lost the right to earn a living. It, it takes a toll personally uh, with, with my family, with my children. Uh, you know, Christmas this year was, it was extremely difficult, almost embarrassing. And I felt like shame, like, hey, I'm, I can almost not you know, afford to take care of my family. Carr owns the quarter in downtown Buffalo. He estimates the restaurant has lost around $400,000 because of COVID-19 restrictions. We just don't have the right to even do anything about it. Well, we do have the right to do anything about it. They are stripping us from us. It's money that we'll never see again. You know, we're down close to $2 million. It's not fair. Peter DeRace is the owner of Pharaoh's Gentlemen's Club. He's concerned business has just moved down the street to yellow zones where bars and restaurants are still open. So DeRace, Carr, and 38 other bar restaurant owners are suing to reopen indoor dining. Erie County is being bullied, and that's the exact words that my lawyers use, bullied. DeRace says they've received good news. The government has until next Monday to come up with a solution for us. And if there's no compromise, the state must provide scientific evidence as to why restaurants must remain closed. Not one single case has been traced back to any of the 40 restaurants uh, that's involved in this. So scientifically, everything just, it, it still is not making one, you know, any, any sense whatsoever. So we're trying to understand why we're being shut down. And even if the industry can reopen, there are still issues that lie ahead. We still have to find a way to replenish all of our food, find new staff, come up with new payroll systems and everything. And we've been hurt and damaged so much that even when they open us, we still might have to close. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.